啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Pelican Wharf, where we have built a DNA lab, but we need a DNA doctor. And here he is, Simon Basket. Let's uh, where is he? Let's uh, let's zoom in. Let's find him. There he is. Um, so he has a training slot ready. So, but I don't think we've got the money to train him just yet. Uh, is it going to be fifteen thousand? Possibly genetics. 20. Ooh, it's expensive. It's expensive, everybody. So we need to wait for 20 grand to come in. Um, I'm not sure how well this hospital is earning money at the moment, actually. Um, since we've added a few new rooms, uh, just to start helping that cure rate go up, um, something else we're going to need as well is to get the money together. And they are doing some research here is to train one of them in research three look which is going to be twenty five thousand. so they're they're raising the monies to do it um, but this genetics doctor uh would be great because then we can set uh, it's probably already set streaming isn't it i probably did that when i built it yep um, because this room will help bring in money and will also help that cure rate uh, go up unless we kill them all which you know is a thing because with surgery for example we're aware that all the illnesses that are coming into surgery uh, let's do treatment cost are all really really difficult um, and actually these two touch of Midas and Jumbo DNA are really difficult as well although I think we've got others coming into the hospital so hopefully we'll be able to discover those soon and hopefully they'll be a little bit easier uh, to treat um, right so there we are let's pause this a minute because we now have the monies uh, doctors Simon we would like you to get some genetics training there we go with Dr Rosie Franklin there we go <laughs> right now we've got a cubism patient here which we can't really deal with oh let's should we get them to the top yes yeah, see we've got this pudding dna one you we we can't actually deal with dna lab required uh where are th where is this patient i don't actually know we i think we'll have to send them home uh no I think we might have to send them home just just for now because I don't know how long this will take. It may take a little while. See, we lost all that money now because uh, I spent it all the second we had it. So, come on, guys, get us some cold hard cash. I think this is the forty-five grand one, is it? No, thirty-five maybe. Roderick's plot hole might be and uh, oh yeah and then machine upgrades we can also get this upgraded when we got some money coming in look at this um hopefully we've got i think i've got all three upgrades for the um well two uh, for the helixir um bungle tech where are they arriving from here yeah, chopper that's probably them isn't it hello there we go, Sophie Nova. There we go. She's okay, and she she's quite good at helping with research, so she might be okay if she likes the hospital. We might do quite well. I don't I don't know if she will though. Look at all these queues. Look at all these queues. It's terrible, isn't it? I'm building a terrible hospital. <laughs> How many um? Do we we do have three? And a lot of these we can probably just send away. Um, they're looking a bit ropey. So we'll get them higher up the queue. It's a bad layout as well that we've got ourselves. So it's all... It's all being fairly difficult. Um, so we should do a bit of prioritising. We might as well go home. There we go. Ooh. Kelly Vinegar. You're looking a bit ropey as well, aren't you? DNA lab required. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, get the patient to wait because it looks like we're about there with this. 
let's open this room because he is about there. Aren't you, Simon? He's a bit hangry. <laughs> gets hangry. Has he got, but he does have, yeah, look, he's fine. If he gets hungry, it's there, it's good. He'll be fine. There we go. There you go. Excellent. So hopefully that will help with this cure rate. So the next one is to train up one of these guys. Yeah. 25,000 we need, eh? We can do this. We can totally do this. Um, and then we need to upgrade machines, which we'll get to afterwards. Um... We've done a bunch of upgrades. See, look, this is upgraded. Um, and then... Where are we with this? This one could be upgraded. That one's upgraded. And then we've got this as well. So we'll see how we go on that. And I don't think I've researched the second, the advanced upgrade for the decryptor either. So that might be something we can do. But we really need the money coming in. We're relying quite a lot on their money boosts at the moment, unfortunately. We're going to train them higher. Ooh, look, we could do one now. Now, which one of these would learn fastest? Oh dear, we need to sort out the money. I honestly don't know. So if we put in research, learning speed 180, 120. Oh, look, we got lucky. We got lucky. There we go. So they can go and learn that. Then we've got this money coming in. So we could look at some upgrades. Although we've also got the bills about to go out, which will plummet us into the red. Oh, she's leaving the hospital. Did she like it? Oh, she did, and she gave us 500 research points. Thank you so much, Sophie Nova. That is amazing. I'm very appreciative. Uh, would you like to just... <laughs> go for treatment uh, you two even though it's all they're quite low even though they're quite low open all these oh look Got more than I thought we would yeah go on Surgery, look at this how difficult this is we're probably going to kill them aren't we I think we probably will what's going on with you you're far too low we might have to send you home it's not going well at all uh, what are you doing? Gurning lines. They're on it. They're on it. Right, so here's here's some money. So let's have a look. Uh, no, see, look. Cryptology. So we want to do the research three on this. Research which part of the mummification process is most useful for us to combat next. <laughs> Decryptor three, the advanced upgrade. I think we will go with that. Let's start that project. Um, and let's upgrade this. That one's upgraded. Did we upgrade? That one's upgraded too. That's great. And we'd like to upgrade the helixer. Might as well go make good use of that money. There we go. Excellent. So this would be uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, these two machines will get us to 10, I think. So we'll need a couple more machines. But which is the best one? We do have a turtle head emergency here. But it's a question of what's coming into the hospital most frequently. And also, maybe, what would... Uh, what machine... No, no. We'll get there in a minute. What machine would give us good income treatment costs we've got this one so eight bit and how many of those we're getting in i have seen a couple question is do we get more eight bitten or chromotherapy possibly even shock horror which one do we get the most of you know that's what i'd like to know but we don't really know do we Maybe we could do um, the resolution and see how many of those we get. Doctor, you know, I know that we get them. We got see, we got a chromotherapy patient here. I did see an eight bitten po patient not too long ago. Probably sent them home though. 
You know, there's not exactly loads of them walking around the hospital. I'm only seeing that one. What's the price of these rooms? So, um, chromotherapy therapy is 21. And that's 30. There's masses in it, is there? So maybe we will just go with the resolution lab. Shot clinic. We'll send them home, maybe. I think that's what we'll do. These um, are getting completely overrun, aren't they? Uh, maybe we could copy this and pop that there. That's not so bad. And put in a little radiator. Maybe. Put in a radiator, actually. Let's put in a big radiator. Let's pop that in there. Oh, it's not really doing enough, is it? Put another big one over here. Oh dear, it's still, it's still a little bit chilly over here. Just a, a smidge chilly, isn't it? That'll help. Okay. An additional room, which means an additional GP. That'll do. Um, wouldn't go amiss. Uh, just to cover breaks. Um, I, but you know what we'll do? We'll probably get one of these. Teach speed 100. And, yeah, we'll probably get one of these to do it, which means we'll be one down still for a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. What we could do is just close this until they are sorted. Because uh, look at all this. It's crazy, isn't it? The queues are insane. Everyone's just going to be waiting so long. They will die. Can't seem to know spin the toilet. Um, yeah, look. Okay, send home. Who else could be sent home? Are you out the toilet yet? No, come out the toilet because I think we could probably send them for treatment. Let's try and help these queues just a little bit. There we go. Pan's lab, send you home. Right, who else? Uh, Turtlehead, you can go. Uh, this cube is impatient, can go. Um, who, what is that? Who are you? Oh yeah, no, you can stay. We have a fracture ward. Um, what are these other patients? Are fairly okay. God, they're all really difficult illnesses. They're all such difficult illnesses. Uh, I don't know if you're going to make it. No, I think we we'll have to send them home. Uh, okay. Excellent. Ooh, animal magnet. If you're still not so inclined, this next song should seal the deal. There we go. All those to the top. Some DNA. That'll be fine. They're getting trained. It's happening. Ooh, this got upgraded. Yeah, and now we're researching the next one, which is great. Uh, the resolution lab. Okay, get them to wait. Let's just pause this a minute. Now, do we have a treatment doctor? We probably don't, do we? No. Um, I think it's doctor for the resolution lab. Let's go. Treatment rooms. Let's see here. Resolution lab. Okay. I can't really fit this treatment over here. We might need to really consider getting a new building soon. Four by four. Get the toaster in. Look, it looks just like a toaster. Uh, I can't get that radiator out the back. I'll have to get a new one. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could just put small radiators in like that we definitely need one of these let's see how that heats the room probably not terribly well um let's see no okay uh we could put in um items for this room maybe put one near the see that's pretty nice that that got it um let's put a cupboard in the corner just because i think it'll look fairly okay um a hot chocolate I think they'll like that. Um, now a chair for them to sit on. I, I've started to take to these wicker um, chairs. There we go. Lovely. Um, and then we need the sweet dispenser. 
Okay, so get a little bit peckish there and there. Okay, and it's got a, it's still a bit chilly out here. Let's do that. There we go. Now, shall we put down a couple of bennies? That'll work for the ward as well, won't it? I think. I've got quite a lot of bennies. Nobody will be standing in this hospital. Nobody. Right, now. So we could really do with... Oh, let's just double check. Oh, look, there's one there. It is a doctor. What are you like? Gets toilet rage. Sure, all right. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll pop them in there. So all the treatment rooms. There you go. You're our treatment doctor. Congratulations. And now we are treating them, which is just splendid. Now, we have one in research three, which I'm really pleased about. So what we can do um, after this training course is over I, is get that one to train the other two. That would be great. Um, this is up to three. Oh no, look, we lost all the money. We do really need um, that. Look how much we lose. We, we still do heavily rely on them giving us cold hard cash uh, soon we can open this office though and opening this office means that we'll be able to push more people through for treatment uh, faster so it means that we might make money faster um, so that'd be great getting this getting this open because look 12 and 12 we could really do probably with uh, more GPs in this but we'll do this for now possibly training up these doctors would help well, it will. It absolutely will. There we go. So let's now care, open this. Can I, I'd like to pick up... There we go. Pop them in there. Splendid. See, now, you're all good, as far as I'm aware. You are all good. We like, we like all of you. Not too shabby. 70? Might have been treatment. There we go. Now I've got some bleeding hearts kicking about. What's wrong with you? Right. Am I getting you? Oh, quick, go home. Uh, oh, look at them queuing for this bookcase. It's obviously a very popular item. There we go. Okay. So, shall we do that bit of training? Um, so we would like to, look at the money, we would like to train you in Research 3 and we'd like Sophie to join you. Should we just have a look at this money? All staff money, sure. Not that we can afford it, but there we are. Maybe these queues are going down, which is wonderful. Look at that. Let, give them time to work through it. You can go. I don't have a pans lab. Excellent. Bins will, become full. Bins will become full. Okay. Excellent. So where are we with upgrades? Um, so. Look, if we can get the... Helix of three on here, plus fifty percent treatment, plus fifty percent diagnosis. That would be fantastic. So I think this is our next our next job here is to get thirty grand together for that. Chromotherapy required, head office required. We could do. Do you know what? We might build this head office. Um, or, or, not right now. We don't have the money, but we've got this emergency, and the, they're now coming into the hospital naturally. So that room would continue to get used after the emergency. So. That's great. I like the idea of getting the turf wall um, heads in here. What's going on with you? You're still being diagnosed. These uh, people are the sufferers of uh, the long queues that were happening, which uh, we are slowly resolving. Slowly resolving. Um, the turtle head. Where is the guy that works in here? 
to him. Yeah. Would you? Yeah, so he would work that room as well. So it could go next door and he could work both rooms. That would be really quite snazzy. So how much is that room? Um, just so that we know. 30 grand. It's the same amount as the upgrade for this. I think it might go with Turtle Head first because it will earn us additional income, uh, which sounds fairly preferable. Because uh, look at our cure rate. It just gets worse. Just gets worse. That's okay. Tired of thinking for yourself. Hmm. Wish you could By the time we get these money. machines ah, up to 15, we should be treating today. the vast majority of people coming in. And look, the hostel is making money. Not much, but it is making money. Which is great. Wow, the queue here is getting outrageous, isn't it? Could really do with that. Uh, more diagnostic stuff happening. Another diagnostic option would be great, wouldn't it? Powerful one, like the DNA lab would be great. But I think we're going to, once we built the turtle, I think we're going to be in a situation where we really need another building. <laughs> Look, it's 70,000. It's a bit of a nightmare. But that's definitely what will be happening. And we'll probably start moving treatments into here maybe so that we've got GP and diagnostic all across here and then start moving into treatment. We could do doctor treatment, nurse treatment, maybe something like that. That might work. Let's see how it goes, eh? Um, we've got, if we just go to patients moment, let's go to low health. What's happening with you? Let's send you home because you're all about to sort of die. Um, you're all the victims of the long queues. You've never quite... We never quite got through this process, did we? So I would say that we can send this gentleman here, Tommy Marinade. Uh, oh, chromotherapy. Probably for treatment. Doctor required in GP's office. Excellent. Um, that's actually... Let's see. No, what am I doing? Fairly low. Bob Stench. <laughs> Let's try sending him for treatment. Oh, there's a shock therapy patient. They can go. No. Well, I'm not surprised. Good. There we go. So we've now done the research staff, which is fan dabby dozy. Um, but we want to build, before we upgrade that, we want to build this turtle thing, don't we? They're researching the advanced cryptology, but then I might get them to do a money one just for a little cash injection. We'll get the money together first for this turtle head department. It'll give him more to do as well, so he's earning his wage a little better, uh, which I'm always up for. Um, he's proving to, it is proving tricky to get this um, hospital off the ground. It is proving tricky. Um, so the head office, which is another four by four. I put the doors next to each other so that um, it's easy for him to go from room to room. Okay. Uh, I think, hmm, where should we pop this? Maybe here? Excellent. Excellent. Now, we're probably going to lose all the money. Um, but what we'd like to do is get his gubbins in. He's having a cup of hot chocolate right now, making good use of the facilities. Uh, I'll pop this in. Oh, it's been nosy. Oh, he's enjoying the cupboard. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We want to copy this. There we go. That'll do. It should be all right. That should work for us. Good. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure how many upgrades I have on that machine. But the next upgrade that we want to do is this one. The Helixer. Get that upgraded. 
that would be fantastic. Um, but yes, we do have a diagnostic um, uh, issue. <laughs> They're very busy. Um, this nurse is a little overrun. We could do with helping her out. And it's not going to happen this episode. <laughs> not happening this episode. I think we need to unlock this building um, in order to, to really be able to help uh, this nurse. Is it woman? It is. Um, in any significant way say look we're earning more money more and more money um, but we still don't have 30 grand for our upgrade how's this going Ooh, the advanced upgrades going well um, and of course now that they're level three they're going to be researching even faster um, it'd be great to do a whole bunch of upgrades to the research lab to be honest wouldn't it give them a bunch of computers or whatever uh, to really boost that research, but the money that we're getting in at the moment, that's just not the priority um, But it's it's getting close. It's getting close possibly when we got a bit more room after getting this and we might look at um, Expanding our research department here. That would be nice Yes, it would um, Oh dear now she's on break. Maybe what would help it is, I take it. We only have one Yeah, we only have one diagnostic nurse maybe if we had two so that breaks are covered that would help a little bit just for now and it means that we're prepping nurse in the future for the future there we go so we we'll just keep that queue moving because it's, it's a big old queue isn't it it's a big old queue um, do you know, I'll take a risk on you. Okay, fine. I didn't look what they, what they had. Uh, just see if we can help them a little bit with this queue. It's a little bit, it's, it's nothing too crazy, is it? Better than poking the eye. Uh, what are you, what's wrong with you, sir? Would you like to go home? Well done. Uh, so 30,000 then. So let's get this Helixa upgrade going. Um, and then we're waiting for them to complete the research on this one. And then we might get them to start boosting money so that we can get this, this, this building. Um, and what I might do is get them to research as much money as possible so that I can buy this before the next episode so that we can just get on with expanding the hospital which is always uh, fairly exciting and I think we will put um, uh, some treatments over here we could put the DNA treatment over here these two rooms over here and the surgery it's all sort of largely doctor based stuff um, yeah, and then we'll have more room for diagnostic stuff, which would really help this room. Um, you know, really help this room. I'm thinking fluid analysis, so maybe um, a DNA lab for diagnosis might be really great. Um, uh, maybe at some point to make a scan. See how it goes. See how it goes. Uh, it's all it's all fairly big money that we're asking there. And uh, what do, what does this room do? Does this room do both? This room just does diagnostics. Okay, can we help you at all? Because uh, you're getting a bit busy. Not, it's actually not too bad, is it? Not too bad. Um, thinking, are you in the toilet? You are, lovely beanie. What, smashing beanie. <laughs> if you can come out of there, please, please, please. Thank you. Nurse required in good, good. How close are we? Oh, look. And we've got the money. So with this coming in. So close. And now so close. I call over the rainbow, in Shock and pans. Yeah, we've heard of those before. Oh, we could also take this emergency. That would help. Um, where is the doctor? Where is our treatment doctor? Nice. There he is. Oh, and and he's all charged. Let's do it. Let's um, 
let's get him in here. How's this machine? It's great. Um, let's do it. Let's get that in. And here comes that. And then we can arrange our upgrade, our final upgrade on there. We found that dehydration caused by salting is a real roadblock for our treatment process. That's why we've converted the anti-embalming chemicals into a moisturizing mist. Uh, wow, interesting. Um, it's, it's not, it's not science, is it? <laughs> okay. Prob oh, we're going to rush him through and yet there's an emergency coming in. Oh, the perils, the perils. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, if you did please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa. 